Warning, this tape contains raw footage from the Furpent campsite, Palm City State. The camera with the tape was found near the campsite by a local resident, who claims that a paranormal investigator was spotted near that area. The tape contains unexplained phenomena and chilling evidence of the supernatural activity. Your discretion is highly advised. Footage recorded by Ryan Goodwin, status missing. Okay, let's start the footage. Hello everyone, Sinister Art here, and we're back with another video. This one being Fervent, which we are in the role of a paranormal investigator as we venture into the eerie Fervent Cap site to uncover mysterious obelisks and other strange things out here in the darkness. Let's see if we can... Okay, that fully closed the game. Alright, so I guess we are venturing further into the forest. That is a very clear obelisk right there. What are you? Very bizarre. Can I interact with you at all? Doesn't seem like it. Can't do anything with it. Okay. We will head back to the pathway. Find the book. Okay, I guess we're looking for a book somewhere. Let's head towards the lights and go from there. Oh, we turned our flashlight on. Oh, these are not... Oh. Interesting. So these are tents set up. Throughout. So I'm looking for a book somewhere? Where might that be? I assume in one of these tents or... Well, teepee looking things. Where are you? Why where we need to put the book? Very dark. No. Oh, every single one just has the same doll in it. What the fuck is that? Um. Okay. That was bizarre. Another one of the obel. Yeah, well, they all just have the same doll in them. Which is quite bizarre. Find the book. If I were a book, where would I be? I apologize for the intrusion. We have a well. What's that? Okay. doll. Another obelisk. Where the fuck is this book at? What the fuck do I do? Where do I go? This is fine though. Fuck me. Hey dude. I I am so sorry. I will... Did not mean to trespass. I'll, I'll leave you be. It's not following me, right? It's not getting closer. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I go talk to it? Maybe I have a little chat? Hey there, dude. Oh, fuck. I, I guess not. Did you leave a book behind for me? No, that's, that's fine. Anything around? There's a symbol here. I don't know what that means, though. If anything. Did all those other rocks have symbols on them? No, so why does that one have a symbol on it? I don't think I can interact with it. You know, we got a ghost here on camera. Maybe we just pack it up and go home. You're still covered. Oh, there's the book. How do I get this off? Oh, I have to click on it. Ritual to break the curse of the trapped souls... If you're reading this, it means that you have found the pickaxe hidden by us. 
I don't, I didn't find a pickaxe. Long time ago, uh, we were part of the group dedicated to bring peace to this cursed campsite. People kept disappearing. We had to act. During our ceremony, something went wrong, and the ritual summoned the fervent ghoul, a human-like creature which will stop at nothing to get you. Remember to find the book under the rock, a special rock, different from the others. Bring the book to the lectern, and you must light all the candles near the tents. The lighter will, the lighter will appear in front of you. Use it. We believe that is the only way to defeat the ghoul. I don't like that very much. Well, we know there's special rocks at. We also didn't, don't know where the, the ghoul's at. I would like to not know where the ghoul's at, like, on a permanent basis. Got it. I got the book, guys. Okay, now we go to the lectern. Then we light all of the camps. Oh boy. Probably not good. Probably not good. Probably not good. One. Two. I don't see a ghoul. Oh, there, there it is. There's the ghoul. He's still walking towards me. Oh god. Oh gosh, oh golly. I do not run very quickly. Um, uh... It's kind of slow. He's not very fast. Clearly, he's not very dedicated to, to actually catching me, preventing his demise, but... It is what it is. I think he's a little angry now. End of footage. Special thanks to you for experiencing this footage. Press escape to remove the tape. I think that was actually it. So the game itself was inspired by the house in the woods and many other VHS style horror games. So it was on the shorter side. So I'll likely pair this with um, another game or two to, to pad it out. But that was fervent. If you like it, I'll leave a link down to it. It is short, very straightforward. Um, I'm sure you can run on just about any machine, given the, you know, constraints of what it actually is. So yeah, average playtime is about 10 minutes, so we got there. October 8th, 1984. I saw an ad in the newspaper about a house-sitting job. Since I was short on cash, I decided to sign up. And I guess that's where we pick up. 1984. All right, we are playing The Nightmare Files Clap Clap. Quite the eerie neighborhood, huh? I would agree. It's also very dark out. I assume this is the house we need to go to. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a house on the street. Could you help me out? Sure, which house are you looking for? I'm looking for Maxim's place. He hired me to look after it while he's away. Maxim? Huh. That's interesting. He usually asks me to watch this place. I'm Marco Batovsky, by the way. Nice to meet you. Of course, it's two ounces down. Mine's right here. Our neighbor is Savo in the middle, then Maxim's place. You can't miss it. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate it. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I just got my home automated system in the mail. I'm really excited. Oh, that sounds interesting. What does it do? Well, it's supposed to make life a whole lot easier. You know, controlling the lights, temperature, even the security system. Pretty cool stuff. Wow, that does sound convenient. Why did you decide to get it? Partly because of the recent disappearances happening around here. That's concerning. But mainly because our neighbor Savo got one and won't stop raving about it. He left for vacation right after installing it, said it was has built-in surveillance systems and all. Vacation, huh? Guess he wanted to keep an eye on things while he's away. Well, I hope you enjoy setting it up. Thanks again for the directions, Marco. No problem. Alright, I guess we head on over. So this is Savo's place. We can go through with your trash, that's funny. Clap, clap. Interesting. Warning, clap, clap certified smart house surveillance. Interesting, is that what it's called, clap, clap? 
I'm guessing we're gonna see the same thing here. Nope, empty trash. Interesting. Can we go into the backyard? I guess we can. There's a line. It's all lit up back here. Oh, it's quite a nice backyard, actually. Okay. Inside we go. So we are house sitting for a total stranger, it seems. In the backyard. Oh, okay, so we do need to go to the backyard. Find the key in the backyard. I think they said they put it in the flower pot. There it is. Why the music stop? Very eerie. Oh, and we go. Very dark. I can't see. Oh, fuck. Well, that's uh, welcoming. I would. That's one way of putting it, I guess. They did say it was a smart house. Read the note on the fridge. Yes, sir. Keeps it all trash. Nope. Thanks for house sitting. Please make sure to check the mailbox. What are the plans? Throw out the trash. Press Q to toggle the lights on off in any room. Once you're finished, help yourself to the food in the kitchen. So mailbox, plants, throw out trash. Okay. Money. Whoops. Okay. Time to explore the house. Okay, we have a restroom and washroom. We have... Hello? The garage. We're gonna need that for watering the plants. Um, upstairs we have... Do we just not have light switches anymore? Bedroom? I'm guessing their bedroom? What is this? How to kill a house sitter. Hmm. Eh. And the neighborhood. Okay, that's not ominous at all. Hello? Okay, and a master bathroom with rubber duckies. I'll take one for comfort. The door closed. I'm trapped. Open. And you are a... 300 jump scare ideas. Am I about to be jump scared? Horror 101. Hmm. What about the do not enter room? Or not? Alright, check the mailbox. I'm sure there's nothing. Mailbox. Missing chemical Zex and 25 years old, last seen the 23rd of December, September 1984, on Salford Park wearing a black sweater, black hat. He was doing house sitting services. Missing house sitter, huh? Uh oh. Sounds like the beginning of a mystery novel. Sounds like we're gonna die. Wonder what happened. We're gonna find out, I guarantee you. Bills sorted. Check. Show those plants some love into the garage. Whoops. Interesting. One. 
too. Nice little pond area he has. Three. Four. Just probably just do walking. Nothing we're worried worry about. Stroll. Okay, let's just leave you outside. Next is taking the trash out. I cannot use the sledding. Oh, I can't. Okay, trash. A lot heavier than I expected. Bone sticking out. That's not good. Was the owner eaten? Oh, fuck. Stop. Who are you? I'm Agent Rostellino, Federal Investigation Bureau. I need you to ask a few questions. Sure, what's this about? There have been reports of disturbances in this area, disappearances, strange phenomena. You're uh, you're con we're conducting an investigation. Yeah, I've heard everything's fine here, just taking out the trash. Are you sure? We have reason to believe that there's more to this neighborhood than meets the eye. Yeah, 100%. Just taking out the trash, you know? Alright, but keep your eyes and ears open. We need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Of course, we'll do. Thanks, Inspector. No problem. Stay safe out there. Alright, dude, can I just, like, throw this at him? Hey, investigator. Oh my god, he fell over. Wait a minute, I threw the trash. I threw it out. He's gonna be okay, right? Dude. Oh my god, he's trash. Oh my god, what do I do with him? I'm gonna put this in the neighbor's trash, actually. Wasn't us. Was not us at all. Alright, um, back to it. Get some food from the kitchen. The fuck was that? Someone else definitely clapped. Farther goes to the agent we just killed. There's room, zero of three. But I'm hungry. Well, that sign's gone now. I don't like this very much. Stop doing that. Okay. some food from the kitchen. You got it. What is this? 
Ooh, to put cereal on bed upstairs. Okay. Eating cereal on someone else's bed. No problem. Close the damn door. Oh, the book. Forgot. Was that? 2.43 a.m. Um. We all saw that, right? I have a book and I will f throw it at your head. Fuck. Bro, turn on the fucking hallway light. I have a book. I will clock your fucking head. I will do it. Why is there a whole other bedroom in here? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the f Um... Clap, clap. Claw marks. Okay, give me my book. Hello? Fuck. Fuck. I'll clock you. I'll do it. Where you at? Where are you at? You're here somewhere, I know it. Where the fuck are you? Probably should close these windows. Rubber ducky. Adjustment. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I can't run that way. you to leave and never come back. I think he died. Clap, clap. Yep, I think it's I think it's time to go. I kept running until I reached the nearest police station. While investigating, the authorities found Marco's lifeless body in his house. Meanwhile, Maxim's remains were found stuffed in the trash bag outside his house. As long as they didn't find the FBI agent, we're fine. Their neighbor Savo has disappeared under similar circumstances. His remains have yet to be found. 
despite the eerie scratches on the walls and my harrowing account, no trace of the creature is ever discovered. The case remains unsolved, leaving an unsettling mystery behind. Thank you for playing my first ever indie horror game. I hope you enjoyed playing as much as I enjoyed making it. I'll be releasing more horror games in the Nightmare Files series. Very cool. You can stay up to date on my YouTube channel, Ray Castley Games, or Twitter, Ray Castley. Thanks, Maxim. All right, so that was Nightmare Files Clap Clap and Fervent, two indie horror games that I pulled off of itch, and I'll leave the links down to the pages in a pinned comment below to check them out yourself. I know Clap Clap has been played fairly recently, uh, quite a bit. Fervent, though, I haven't really seen much on it. If you like both, again, check them out yourself, play through them yourself, see what you think of the game in, in totality on your own terms. Otherwise, I have been Sister Hearts. Leave a comment if you liked the video. Let me know what you think I should play next. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you would like to see more. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.